In the world of leaks, nothing is safe. What's up guys, today we're gonna be taking a look at Android 12. This is the next big thing from Google. We've got a very early glimpse of how Android 12 will look and of course, what this brings to the table and why you should be excited. Now, in case you missed the date, I've announced the Galaxy S21 giveaway winner on my Twitter. And guess what? I am announcing another giveaway. So I'm giving away Galaxy Buds Pro, actually two Galaxy Buds Pro. So if you guys wanna enter, definitely check out the link in the description. So this Android Android 12 look is leaked via Google's internal document. Shout out to XDA developers for posting all of this info and giving us the first glimpse of what this is all about. So Android 12 brings a huge design change. If you actually notice how the notification panel looks, it looks like Google is applying more of its heavy skin and kind of moving away from that pure kind of Android look. With the new conversation widgets on home screen, it does have a bit of an iOS look. I kind of like this look, but of course, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Beyond the looks, by far the biggest feature the Android 12 brings to the table is the new privacy indicator. This feature was first brought to the scene by Apple with their iOS 14. When you use Instagram or other application that uses your camera or microphone, you get that little indicator on top which shows that a certain app is using your camera or your microphone. The current version of Android does not provide that privacy control, but now Google is finally bringing this to Android. Android 12, a much, much needed feature for Android in general. Google's implementation is slightly different. So in addition to a normal indicator, it also shows you the name of the application that is utilizing the camera. So for example, Instagram, using your camera in the background, the name will appear, not just the indicator. And same thing with the microphone. So definitely a huge, and I think the most important feature of Android 12 is this new privacy indicator. Android 12 also gives you this manual control of disabling the camera and microphone if you really want that extra security. Now, as mentioned earlier, these new iOS inspired widgets are called as conversation widgets. They're coming with Android 12. These widgets will help you keep track of your recent messages, missed calls, or activity statuses. So for example, if you haven't spoken to your friend for like two weeks, you will see a home screen pop up for that. According to XDA developer, we might see the implementation of this with third party apps as well. So you'll see all your conversations within these widgets. Now Android 12 will bring official support for ultra wideband technology, something that Galaxy S21 Ultra, along with the Xiaomi Mi 11 sports, this is going to be a built in implementation within stock Android. And speaking of Xiaomi, they have actually done one thing pretty brilliant and that is long form screenshot or scrolling screenshot. It seems like Google will finally add this feature with Android 12. Uh, they actually were working on this with the Android 11 but for some reason they decided to skip it. Very likely it will be implemented with this brand new release. According to XG Developer we might also see a brand new theme engine that will work really well with whatever wallpaper you're using. It's going to take that color and apply that to your quick setting area and it might actually work with third party apps as well. Now Google may also be bringing app pair with Android 12, something that Samsung does really well with their One UI. So you'll be able to see app pair of YouTube or internet application. And with one click, you'll have that easy split screen view of both applications. A pretty handy feature that now Google is taking towards their stock Android. With Android 12, you'll also be able to hibernate unused applications, which means you'll be able to get more storage out of your unused apps that you have installed. It's a similar feature to iOS where you can and offload some data in their storage option. Uh, something nice to see on Android as well. So guys, this is the first early glimpse of Android 12. It's looking fresh, it's looking different. So far, we're getting a bit of a mixed response, but let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. If you guys wanna read about more features, you can definitely check out the link in the description. According to XDA developers, we could be seeing the first actual developer preview of Android 12 on February 17th, which is actually not that far away. So be sure to subscribe. I'll definitely be covering that up on the channel. And in case you missed in the beginning of the video, the giveaway for the Buds Pro is live. You can check the link in the description. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.